Oh, struck it well. It's going towards the flag. Get in, get in. Hello and welcome to Reload Golf with me, Rob Woodcock, and this is Ballwell Hall. First hole, par 4, 325 yards, stroke index 12. It's a narrow tee shot with out of bounds right and trees left. And the green itself is a pretty big target to be fair. Looking forward to this. First proper round. Three iron. Well, I've not hit it well, but it's gone straight. Low runner. There we go. So yeah, this place. Um, Ballwell Hall golf course. It's, all, it's, it's next to Ballwell Park in Nottinghamshire. So I had a look at prices, so I teed off at half past one. Before two o'clock, it was 12 pounds today. And after two o'clock, eight pounds to play here. So, I mean, I thought, right, I've got to go and see this place. Right, not the best shot there, but it's worked out okay. 110 to this first green. And I can reach with pitching wedge, I think. Yeah, nice strike, should be on the green, hopefully. Oh yeah, it could be near the flag. Oh, I think that's right near. I think. Looked very close. Looked very close. I'll probably get there and it'll be miles away. All right, just walking up to it now. That green looks lovely. And uh, yeah, it is pretty close. <laughs> I mean, a birdie on the first would be amazing. That would be a huge bonus for our break 100 or 95 or 90 or 85. Dare to dream. Right, there we go, birdie on the first. Wow, I like this course already. <laughs> the second is similar to the first, a straight hole without a bounds right. The right hand side of the fairway is elevated though, which is a feature on many holes here. At the green, there's a small bunker on the left. So here we go. Three iron, just trying to hit straight down. Oh, I've nailed it. That is straight down, beautiful. Much better shot than the first tee. I think that's just straight down there. Very happy. So I've got 145. So, eight iron. Had fun and games with this club at Trent Lock. Hopefully it'll do me a solid today. That's all right. Yeah, happy with that. Might need to sit. Hmm, not sure. Can't really see the green. Right at the back of the green, but thankfully the, the pin's quite far at the back. So again, green in regulation, I wasn't expecting that. Beautiful greens. Right, this is for birdie again. I think it's pretty straight. Get in. Oh, it's just gone away at the, the end to the right. Uh, we'll take that, tap in par. Might have to reevaluate this, uh, the thinking of this break 100. Or we might just be getting ahead of ourselves because we've only played two holes. The third here at Bullwell is like the first and the second in that it's got out of bounds on the right hand side. It's also like the second in terms of the fairway is elevated on the right hand side. Green's narrower with bunkers on either side. I'm just going to hit three wood this time. There's loads of space left. I'm just going to aim towards the trees on the left, I think. Sort of send you out of bounds this tee. It's fading a bit but I think it's going to be okay. Should be fine. So I've just got 9 iron. I've got about 130. Oh I've fatted it. I've fatted it. That's me rushing I think. Let's blame that. <laughs> So I've just got a chip. I've got about 60, 70 yards. Come on, let's get this on the green. Let's 
going left a bit, could be in the bunker, oh, it's short, run on, it's ran onto the green, uh, the contours have brought it round for me. Right, this for par, might go to the left, I think it go to the I don't know, I don't know, could go to the right, could go to the left, could be straight. Happy with that, good put. There we go, bogey, so back to level after three. Level after three. I do this though, don't I? Start well. And there he goes down. The fourth is the first par three and a short one at 138 yards. It's the easiest hole on the course according to the stroke indexes, with a generous green protected by bunkers right and left. Here we go, 9 nine, 138 yards. Green keeper's right there. A little bit left. In the bunker. Well, short, very short. Right, so greenkeeper's followed me to the green. <laughs> he must think I'm mad. Oh, I've duffed it a bit. It's on the green. There's too much pressure. Uh, I think this is going to go slightly to the right. I'm about 20 foot away. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, it tried to at the end. It tried to turn right at the end, but it just didn't quite manage it. So, bogey again. So, one over after four. Happy with that. Fifth hole, par four. There's a bunker to the right of the fairway. This looks nice and open. The flag's just dead straight down. I think you might be able to see it. So yeah, I'm, just, I'm gonna hit drive because it, it does feel quite wide open. It's gonna aim down the left of the fairway. Here we go, driver. No, I hit it okay. It's fading into the middle of the fairway. That's 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 fine. Not the best hit in the world, but it will do. It's down there. So I've got exactly a hundred to go. So I'm just gonna hit pitching wedge, not a full pitching wedge. I don't have a gap wedge. My sam wedge. I don't like to hit full shots with it. Could be short, I think. Not giving it enough, have I? Nowhere near enough. Oh, Rob. This is the thing when you start again, like distances. Just chipping on after that poor approach. I can just land this just short of the green. I think it'll just roll up. Oh, it's landed on the apron, but it's run on a little bit more than I expected it to. Tough put for par, I think. Right, so about eight foot. About eight foot for par. I think it's going to go slightly to the left. Oh, it was travelling. It was travelling, but it's in. <laughs> and it's a par. So we're one over after five. So sixth hole. It's a bit narrower than uh, the fifth. It looks like a lot of rubbish to the right. I'm just going to try and move it straight down the middle. Driver. Again. Oh, I've hit that better, but it's going right. It's in the trees. I've seen it bounce. I think it, it's not in the rubbish rubbish, but it's in the trees. Found him. So the green is just straight over that one tree you can see. So I'm just in the rough, but it's just over that one tree. Right, 9-9, nine, nine. I've got 110 yards. I've hit it well, I think it might be bunker bound. Right. Oh no, it might be short of the bunker. Okay, so I was short of the bunker. I've left myself a really difficult chip here. Okay, oh, it's hit, it's hit something and just ran rather than bouncing, so it's kicked on a bit. So, for par, hold one on the last one. This is gonna go left to right. Oh, I've just pushed it, I think. Started right and stayed there. There's a bit left in this one. Let's not just walk in and miss it. It's for bogey. Two over after six. Pretty happy with that, very, very happy. So we're on the seventh hole. It's got 
It's got three bunkers all around it, front, right and back. The one at the front looks like it's sort of false front. Wind's left to right. I'm going to hit seven iron. There's a bank at the back as well. Oh, struck it well. Going towards the flag. Get in, get in. I think it's short of the flag. I think it's short of it, but it's on the green. So yeah, it was a little bit short of the hole. So I was getting a bit excited when I shouldn't have, but still, that's a birdie putt. Nice little pheasant come to, come to join me. He's seen that I'm Billy No Mates, so he thought he'd come and join me. Cheers, mate. I think this is straight. This is about five foot for birdie. Come on, dead straight. Get in. I think any more pace on that and it would have uh, missed on the left, but it just sneaked in. We've won over after seven, aren't we? Wow. Right, eighth hole, par four. There's out of bounds left. There's bunkers around the green. The tees are back there, but for some reason, the yellows are there, so there must be an issue with the tees. So I'll, uh, I'll play from the yellows as, as I am meant to. I've hit it terribly, it's gone miles right. That is out of bounds, I think. It's either on the seventh tee or out of bounds. It was such a bad shot, I've broken a plastic tee, which I didn't know was possible. That's better, that's straight down the middle. That should be towards the green. Maybe just left of it. Oh dear, driver. Right, I found it. Very surprised I found it. And I'm a little bit annoyed I found it as well because you'll see why when I show you where the other ball is. <laughs> but we found it, so we've got to play it. So I've got about 40 yards, so I'm just going to try and chip this on. Oh, that is bad. I've just, killed, I've just stopped, haven't I? I've just gone... <laughs> no follow through. Rubbish. Let's try and get this on the green. Follow through, come on. It's still going to be way short, isn't it? So I'm there for three. I'll show you where my provisional is for three. <laughs> yeah, just there. That's for three off the tee. Sometimes it pays not to find your ball, doesn't it? But oh well, <laughs> chipping has been bad. Right, fourth shot, pitching wedge. Oh, took a bounce right. I was happy with the distance. I think it might go left a bit, then it might go right. So I'm just going to hit it straight. Right, then left on six foot put. Might be wrong though. So straight at it for, for bogey. No, it did go left and it didn't really come back. Okay, for six. Oof, started turning left. Thought I was going to miss it, but it's in. Double bogey six. So I'm three over after eight. Right, on to the ninth tee. There's bunkers down there, but they look, they look too far away. So they must be for the, for the layup, I think. Wind is massively into our face. It's going to be a three-shotter. Even if wind was with it, it'd probably still be a three-shotter, to be honest. But there's no chance I'm reaching there today. Uh, it started down the middle. It started fading towards the trees. It's a lot. It's a long way short of the trees. I think it's going to be semi to rough. Second shot. I'm just going to lay up because I, I can't reach. I'm just going to hit seven iron because I've got my old friend the greenkeeper behind me again. He's standing there watching. He's desperate for a view. He's desperate to be seen on this video. Going to be telling all his friends and family about this. Right, seven iron just down there. 
Oh, it's going a bit left. It's going towards those trees. Semi rough again. A bit of army golf on this hole. It's on the fairway, to be fair. The tree isn't in the way. I've got 95 yards. So I'm going to hit full pitching wedge. Wind is against. Full pitching wedge. Bunker to the left. Just got this. I've thinned it. I think it's okay. It's still short. I hit it terribly and maybe it was a nine iron. 95 yards though. Right, so I'm just to the right of the green for three. It's not the end of the world at all, is it? Run out, run out, run out. No, it's not run, it's uphill. Needs to be a bit more aggressive there. Still, put for par. This for a par. It's about 10 foot. It's going to go to the left, I think. Get in. Oh. It did go left. I did hit it quite hard. Six. Bogey. So, four over after the front nine. That's 39, so very happy with that. 